Okay, today I'm going to do a trail called the Snowshoe Hare Trail and um, I can't see the camera. Golden State Canyon State Park. Golden State Canyon. Golden Gate. Golden Gate Canyon State Park. Sorry. It's a three mile and this is a little over two and a, about two and a half hours, probably a little bit longer for me. And uh, it is, what's the temperature outside? 68 degrees this morning. It is. I'm not left for the trip yet. It's um, 8.37 in the morning on July 24th, 2024. 7.24, 2024. All derivatives of seven prime numbered. So I don't know what it is. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Climbing that. It's out of my league. This is a high altitude hike today. I'm loving it so far. Once I came, except I hear people talking, so I'm going to keep walking. You talking? I'm walking. Okay, this is a super nice hike. Five out of five for niceness, difficulty, so far, so far, one out of five. That might change. Three mile loop, hope, hope to get it done in an hour and a half, but I keep stopping because it's just, I don't know what you'd think if you came around the corner and saw that in a little bit darker conditions. Kind of bear shaped. I mean, you know, a good chainsaw artist could convert that in a couple of minutes. But anyway, oh, this trail is like full of tight character. It's right up on you. Super nice. I suspect that would probably be the bottom of the hike. So I came from over there across this. This book, is, this brook, is presently babbling. Which is a welcome kind of uh, babble. So I suspect that this will also be the lowest part of the hike. I'll be going up probably from here, unless unless it tracks with the river for a while. But we'll see. Once I came. Looks like a trail, but it's all it's all blocked off. So this goes up and through here. That's I go. And that and that are dead trees. Pretty scrappily. You know what to expect. <sighs> Next time I'll bring a sandwich and I'll just go off the top of there. Scarf it. In fact, I think it behooves me just to go up there and get a look around, so 
way to it. Yeah, I do recommend that you uh, you climb this. It's uh, not too <laughs> difficult, and then it really doesn't doesn't protrude much at the top on this side because it's kind of like a walkout. So this would be the first floor, and then that would be the walkout. But definitely a feature, nonetheless. Whew. The high point, highest point here. That's right. I think right there. That grain of sand is the highest point of this rock formation. Whew. What you can see from up here. There's a higher butte. I'm digging these hazy days. Puts me in a daisy haze. <sighs> Looks like somebody was going for a bit of a Blair Witch teepee with these dade trees, but they just got lazy and then finish it off. Man, I wish somebody would come up here and harvest all these, at least for firewood. Probably too brittle for any kind of construction. Whew, wow, but look. Look at that. There's some dockers. I'm just going to stand up here. Let me come by. I'll just be like, ha ha. One hour, exactly. And I feel like I'm getting my uh, second wind in once I came. This is an easy hike so far. One out of five, I'd say, do this hike. Hour and a half. There's some uphills. You will be breathing hard for a little bit, but it's casual and beautiful. Let's see. I think there's a mountain back here somewhere behind those trees. And another one there. But uh, for the most part, and the scrapple's a lot smaller too. So it's easier to hike on. There's so many of these clearings, I figure if you absolutely had to camp, you could probably do it right here. Because that's what it's for. I don't know. Didn't take it off. And downhill, not too bad. Still a one, one out of five to me. Okay, I'm supposed to turn that way. Came from there. Let's turn there, there's a tree there, and there. That looks so inviting, but I gotta go the other way. What's this? Snowshoe Trail. So this one, okay, about six miles. Point six miles. Dude's Fishing Hole 2, yeah, okay. This way. Exactly 11 o'clock. Once I came, this is nice. Battle's on that way. And then this goes down just a bare trickle. Just disappears into that tree somewhere since I go. One and one half hours. One and a half hours. 
and say go uphill downhill there's a lot of awesome rock formations up here great little snack spots Jungles out. This is it, this is it, this is when you feel like you're in a story. That's it. It's a very nice feeling. Gully. It might be a gully. Here's uh, where I came. Here's where we're having some uh, culvert operations. And then that goes down there. Love to see this during the rain. Let's we'll take a right hand turn, I think, here. So we'll show me your arrowheads. I have to bring my horse next time. Oh, I don't see a trail that way, but I was... Check them out. So I came. That's where I went to begin with. This is the trail that led me here. And it's going to lead me back to the car and I'll be done. I have officially closed the loop of the snowshoe hair trail. I keep calling it Shoshone for some reason. Okay, um, Golden Gate Canyon State Park, snowshoe hair trail loop. Uh, from the Camp Brown par Campground Parking Lane, uh, 3.5 miles in two hours. And I love it, it's a good hike. I would say it's a, about a two out of five for my difficulty level. Me being uh, 58 years old and 40 some pounds overweight. And, uh, but beautiful, beautiful and not too aggressive, doable for me anyway. And uh, yeah, you should do it, you like it. Temperature out there is 75 degrees today, July 20 something, July 24th, yeah, 2024, and uh, God bless you friends and family, give it a shot, be good for you, good for your soul.